Hey guys, what's up? Today I'll be talk, uh, talking about Titanfall, and more spe specifically, Titanfall's Frontier Defense Mode. And if you don't want this, is it's kind of like Titanfall's version of Horde Mode or Firefight. And, uh, you, you know, it's... You get an objective, it's the Harvester. I don't know what the Harvester, you know, does, except for Harvest something, I guess, some, some kind of resource. You play as a militia, I think, all the time for this for this level, or this these missions, and it's four player co op, and you got to defend this from specters, grunts, and titans. And the cool thing is, there's at least different types of you know opponents. Like each, you know, obviously grunts, specters, and titans. And then there's like subclasses. I think grunts only have like the regular soldiers. And then there's, there's specters all there's just there's regular specters and then there's sniper specters and suicide so suicide specters and for titans there's regular titans there's nuke titans and there's mortar titans and those all are a little bit different oh and arc titans I forgot about them uh, I hate them especially because if you get anywhere close to them they have like this field of energy around them that will take down your sh take down your shields and the harvester shield pretty quickly. And they also are equipped with arc cannons, so I would say that uh, my main points for this game, the game mode is it's uh, it's pretty fun. I mean, you you, you go you go in thinking, oh well, this is gonna be you uh, know not really a challenge and kind of be boring. But as soon as I got my first match, I started playing and I actually had a I had a really fun time, really good time. And I discover that if you have any spare or fast learner burn cards, equip them. It'll be great for leveling up if you have those. What I'm going to do is, next time I regen, I'm going to uh, equip fast learner or save a, a few fast learners for this mode and see how what level I can get to by just by just playing. And seeing how you know how high I can get, and if you don't know, the uh, fast learner burn card is double XP, and I think that's double XP for everything. There's also I think cards for you know you uh, I think just attacking pilots, specters, and titans. You get double XP for doing damage to them and killing them. But fast learners is like double XP for everything. Even challenge I think even challenges you get. You get uh, double XP for those challenges. So, like, say you get a 5,000 point challenge, you actually get 10,000 points for that, and 10,000 comes to 20,000, and uh, you know that starts rack. That starts adding up. And I think once I was like level 37, and I came out as like level 39. And uh, actually, getting up to those levels are actually pretty hard because you know once you once you very once you begin or you begin again. You, uh, it's pretty easy to level up, generally like it usually is. And, it's like, I think, like, a few hundred to level up your first time, then a few thousand to level up your next few times. But, once you're getting up there to the high levels, like the 40, 45, like I am, you know, you know, upper 40s, or 40s in general, up to 50. Uh, that's when it becomes like 20,000, 30,000, 50,000. I think maybe even 100,000 at 50. I can't remember. It's actually been a while. But I would say that if you have uh, three friends or actually I, if you just want to play, you know, quick match, you can just hop in this game mode and find a match pretty quickly and it'll be, you know, it's pretty, it, it might take a little, bit, a little bit if it's during a certain time of the day when not, all, not a lot of people in your region are on. But uh, for the most part, you do find a match pretty quickly. And I will say that my only negative point is it's if you go in with four players and say like one or two people disconnect, it becomes very, very difficult. And that's uh, kind of disappointing because I, at one point it did say that it changed up the difficulty because one person to quit. They said they the player disconnected and the uh, it was changing up the difficulty. I don't ever think it did that though because it was, they were still sending like 15 titans at us at a time and that's that was kind of boring. But the last point I want to make is a, a very positive one is 
it showed recon respawn. Uh, it showed respawn. You know, they they listened to the community. I mean, I don't think I ever saw anything about this in the promos or hype for the game. So this kind of proves that uh, they added this mode because people wanted it, and it's something that you know it was new and. You know, maybe they initially didn't think about it. They might have, and just didn't have time for it and edited it. But I don't believe there was any talk about it before. You know, they added it, and they just. You no, know, maybe a little bit of talk before. You know, like hey, the game mode's coming, so be ready for it. But it was pretty neat and a lot of fun. So definitely looking forward to Titanfall 2 or just you know any respawn game because you know. It's, it, I will say that I've played uh, a good amount of their games, not as Respawn though, you know, mostly Infinity Ward, and I really enjoyed those, and I don't really enjoy the new Infinity Ward games, so, kind of says a lot, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have Titanfall and you haven't tried this mode out, you need to try it, and if you don't have Titanfall, you need to get it. So, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.